listen, y'all, kids need to go to school and have, have fun and learn, learn shit and enjoy their fun time in school and not worrying about where they're going to where they're make where they're gonna make it home or not? Uh, because some crazy asshole decides to go out there and shoot kid shoot kids. So I just got I just got off watching some couple of crime stuff. One of them was the Oxford shooting, and the other one was the Florida shoot including shooting. Uh, the floor the Florida shoot shooting. Uh, they sent they sent this Nicholas freaking Cruz that piece of shit. They sent they sent him to life in prison, but parents are pissed off because they wanted the death penalty. I don't blame them for wanting the death penalty, but I also here here's another thing. As a as a Christian, you know you 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 gotta have forgiveness and stuff like that. I get that, but you know in our human nature it tells us, hey, that guy's a piece of shit. He needs to freaking die. He should, he should probably go to hell. And yeah, I agree with all that stuff too. But the big the main the main judge is God. From a Christian point of view, the main the big the main main judge and in that, in that case is God so it, it, uh, it, so Nicholas Cruz is going to spend the rest of his life in prison the day that he dies he's going to see God he's going to see God's judgment unless he finds God and stuff like that but you know some pe- these certain people if they change their life find God then maybe I'll have some sympathy for you but I don't know you know in our human nature we think no you're all pieces of shit I'll have a little sympathy for you but I'll still think you're a piece of shit but uh most people say, oh, I believe in, oh, I changed my way, I believe in God. Huh, yeah, are you sure? Because I think you're saying that because you're scared of going to hell. So, but what I think about the sentencing for uh, Nicholas Cruz, I mean, life or death, he's, he's done. He's, he's, he, he's, uh, he's done. He's not, he's not coming out, he's not coming out of prison. And uh, he's a piece of shit. And if he changes his life, then okay, but I'll have I'll have a little sympathy for him. But other than that, he can he can. Other than that, he's a piece of shit. And, but I think I do think that he deserve he deserves. I do think he deserves to go to hell, and he deserves the punishment that he did. He killed seventeen innocent innocent kids. And for all all the other school shootings that happen, I I pray that they will never happen again. And how about we how about we start letting kids te- why don't we start letting teachers start carrying guns protecting these kids it's hell banks jewelry jewelry stores and uh, f- famous celebrities we protect them with, gu- with, with guns what do we protect our kids nothing maybe just a, just a sign that says there's a gun free zone but do you, do you ask yourself this is a criminal going to listen to a gun free zone hell criminals cr- criminals don't Here's what a criminal's mind is: they don't listen to the law; they disobey the law, and they do whatever the hell they, they do whatever the hell they want. That's why they're called criminals because they do stupid, they do stupid shit, and and that gets them in trouble, and they don't want to follow the law. That's why that's why we have crazy ass people sh- shooting up places and doing stupid doing stupid shit. And we also have these crazy people that want to make a name for themselves because you know they want to be famous, even though. If you want to, if you want to go down that road, you could do something good for this world instead of do, doing stupid shit. But I don't know. But yeah, fuck Nicholas Nicholas Cruz. I hope he can he can burn in hell for all I care. If he does change his ways, I guess that's fine. I'll have a little pity, I'll have a little sympathy for you. But I still think he's a piece of shit. And I'm pretty sure everybody agrees with me. I may not. I may not, maybe maybe I'm too harsh a little bit, but. Uh, you, you, if you go in there and kill, oh, if you go in there and kill kids for no freaking reason, you're a piece of shit, and I don't see you as a human being. So, God bless y'all. Hope you, hopefully, you like this message. Y'all have a good day. Par- and this is a message for the parents. Parents, keep a good eye on your kids. Watch your kids because uh, there's a lot of weirdos out there. And also, you better watch your damn kids because huh, not just the, not just not all police, but definitely. Since the Uvalde police did their bullshit that happened in Uvalde, uh, yeah, you watch your you y'all watch your damn kids and keep them safe. Keep them safe from these idiots, and also don't trust don't trust a damn cop. You can trust you can you, I, well you can't trust cops, but for these Uvalde cops, no. But uh, and, and and what I think about the cops is they need to they instead of tasing parents or arresting parents, they should tell those parents hold on, just wait here. We're gonna go get them. You wait here. We don't want you getting hurt. But no, those. Uvalde cops, they did not. So yeah, fuck Nicholas Cruz, fuck the Uvalde cops. That, that's what I. That's what I think. God bless y'all. Y'all have a good day.